Hello everybody and welcome to your ninth C++ Made Easy HD tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about switch statements so now that we learned about uh, if statements uh, it's, uh, it's, it's obvious to get um, that I should teach you about switch statements since they're they're very similar in a lot of aspects okay so let me de delete this code from last tutorial so we're going to be using the same concept so switch statements are like they're like a limited if statements uh you can't put in like strings or i'm i'm not sure if you can put in chars i think you can can't put in strings and such but if you really need to do a quick comparison and you don't need to like do do too too much with them then switch case statements uh a switch statement will will do just well so the syntax for a switch statement is that you put switch and you put in the variable you're trying to compare. So uh, you're, you're trying to find a value for, right? So basically a switch statement is like an if statement, but you're comparing it to see if it's a certain value. So it's basically saying if that variable is equal to another variable. So there's no like greater than or equal to blah, blah, blah. It's just comparing one thing, okay? So right now, uh another thing is that it can only compare like against like uh since since we can't do like greater than or equal to then it's hard to compare uh between uh multiple values so in this grade case i it is kind of hard to compare but what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna the syntax is that we do switch and we do case so we have to do case and then we have to put a, a value right so i'm gonna say if case 80 so if grade is equal to 80 so yeah so if grade is equal to uh if grade is equal to 80 then we do something so what we're going to say is that we're going to say your grade was 80 now after switch <coughs> sorry for that after a uh, case uh, it's always good to do a break statement. The reason why we do break is that a break means uh, uh, it's like it's like an else and else if statement. It ignores everything else. So once a break, once you call a break, it exits the switch statement. So it goes immediately from here to the end to the closing brace. Okay. So if it's equal to eighty, it's not going to be equal to anything else, right? So you don't. There's no point in checking all the other different cases you have. There's really no point. So might as well just call break so it skips the hassle of going through this and your code runs faster and it goes immediately to this block right here. So we'll we'll have another another case and we'll say uh, your grade is seventy, and this should be is. Oh, sorry, I reached the wrong word. Your grade is whatever. Okay, so now we're gonna have a break. So, uh, just like a else statement, like if anything else is not whatever, uh, then we have a default. The default, the, the default keyword happens if uh, it happens regardless. So, if it doesn't hit any of these break statements, right? So, uh, then it will if break doesn't occur so it doesn't reach the end of the line then default runs regardless of what happens so I'll say uh, it's not either 80 or 70 so let us run this program to see what we get so I'm going to type in 80 it says your grade is 80 okay so if I type in 70 says your grade is 70 if I run this again uh, if I say 90 it's not either 80 or 70 now let's get rid of break okay and a language like C sharp they will force you to do breaks uh, but C++ they don't so let's do without breaks so if I say 80 it will say your grade is 80 your grade is 70 it's not either grade or 70 so Basically, it. I don't know why it said your grade is uh, your grade is seventy. I'm not sure why, but basically, it is proper syntax that after you do it, that you call break. So if anything, when it runs that statement, it reaches the end of the block, and it will. Um, that yeah, that's it. It'll reach the end of the block, and that's it. That's correct. So then, therefore, it won't run any any other case. 
so just to run this one last time so if I put 79 it's not either 80 or 70 etc etc so that is it for this tutorial it was a short tutorial but it should be pretty straightforward so I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye